the opportunity here tonight to, uh, you know, I would say that uh, you obviously have uh, the choices to make, and, and uh, you know, I'll respect them either way, but I think, uh, you know, this comes down to me, uh, what I think a lot of people that are actually in the working class uh, have to decide. You know, in my lifetime, uh, you know, I've seen very much firsthand how, uh, you know, big business uh, will come into an area and uh, feel that they can uh, push their way around. And uh, and I just believe that for too often, working class people have had to uh, accept that. And, and I think that, you know, it's past time, you know, we've had too many compromises. And in this race, uh, you know, when you hear it tonight, it's not really anything that's uh, even hard to, hard to talk about. I mean, Senator King is more interested in, in coming up with a compromise and, and in the past, those compromises ended up being bad for working class people. I never thought I was going to run for Congress, but when I looked around at uh, what we were going to have for options, uh, just like 15 years ago, uh, when I got involved in politics, I felt that there was no one in the room that was going to be fighting for people like me. And so I've chosen to run this race because I think it's important that working class people have a seat at the table also. Uh, and in, in my opinion, that doesn't happen near enough. You can't uh, talk about uh, compromises and take away pensions for $1.5 billion, compromises that give uh, tax cuts to the rich. Wh where was the compromise for working class people? Wh what did we get in return in those deals? And what have we gotten in return from uh, what we've seen in our economy in Wall Street currently? We haven't got anything. They've gotten it all, in my opinion. And I think it's okay. I think it's a, a, a real problem for people in Maine that uh, feel like they can't ask for more. I believe that we need more. I believe that we should have more. And I think it's okay to ask for more because we are part of this world. We're part of this economy, me and you. And, and we, we deserve to have somebody that uh, is fighting for us every time that uh, they're at the table. I don't believe that's a bad thing to fight for your values. I don't. I think that uh, we've been told too often to shut up. And, and that's what's happening exactly in this race. People don't want to lose control. And, and, and I just think that that's uh, unfortunate and what the problem is currently. And that's not who I am. It isn't. I mean, I want to get along with everyone. I really do. But when it comes down to our core issues, our core values, health care, social security, workers' rights, I'm not going to turn around and, and, and worry about guys like Governor Page or guys like John Boehner. Those people have been in front of me my entire life. And I'm not afraid to push back on those people. Because I think, <laughs> I think that we matter too. And, and if you want the status quo in this race, you're not going to vote for me. Because that's not what I, I offer you. I offer you somebody that's going to fight like crazy on these issues because they matter to me and I know they matter to you. And it's time that we quit, quit feeling like we can't give more in this country. Uh, I think that uh, it's incredible how how uh, how much they've been able to push down that type of mentality on us. So, I mean, you can see it very well in, in what we're uh, dealing with here. If you want somebody that uh, knows what it's like to struggle in this country, I'm your guy. If you want somebody that's going to compromise away uh, your values, well, then don't vote for me. Thank you.